All right guys, today is all about sighting in my muzzleloader. I've got a quota hunt in the state of Arkansas this next weekend and it requires either a shotgun or a muzzleloader. And so I'm choosing to go with my muzzleloader. I do have a slug gun in there, but this one is accurate at further distances. And so I don't need but the one shot, or at least hopefully, you know, cross your fingers. But um, I'm gonna choose to take this and I've got a, a, an availability to sit in a field that I can see at a really long way. And so, uh, what I wanted to do today was to just sight this in with new bullets, new powder, and see how far I can shoot this thing accurately. I, I'm hoping to get out to about 200 yards. I'm not going to really try and shoot any further than that, uh, but I am going to try for the 200 mark, and I'm going to bring you along with me. So let me just explain to you what I've got thus far. This is a 50 cal CVA Optima. I've got the 250 grain. 50 cal power belts now these are the arrow lights and uh, I chose these because it's such a lightweight bullet but these are supposed to be deadly accurate is what they say I am going with the 50 cal white hots I've never shot these in this gun so I'm kind of curious to see what I can get I am going to shoot these are 50 grain pellets I'm shooting 150 grains is what I'm planning to shoot I've got the triple seven brand 209 primers from what I read online, apparently these are superior to the rest of them. I'm not really sure why. I guess they just, they're just they they're hotter. They have a, a more fire that comes out of them. Um, in order to do this, you're going to want a 50 cal bristle brush. This is just a brass brush, and it comes with this little uh, cotton, cotton one as well. I don't really use it very much. And you're going to need, this is called breech plug or nipple grease. This is anti-seize. You're going to need this. I've actually got my... My breech plug pulled on my gun. It's It's got some powder residue on it. I'm gonna clean this gun up before I ever get started. Um, and to do that, you're also gonna need some cotton cleaning wipes. And so I'm gonna clean my gun to start. Dry clean. I'm not gonna be oiling it up. I'm just gonna dry clean my gun before I get started to where it's squeaky clean. And then I'm gonna clean in between each shot. This is vital. If you're not big on muzzle loaders and you haven't shot these before, clean your gun in between each shot especially when you're sighting in right the only other thing that i keep around is i keep around my 50 cal wire brush from last year and i use this to run my uh, my clean patches down and because it's usually worn a little bit and it allow that extra room for this to slide down on it and it helps clean the barrel so i saved this one from last year and i get a new one this year and then you may end up needing, oh, my target's going to take off. You may end up needing a, this is a safety pin or if you have a, a sewing needle or something. And I'll say have this nearby is because the hole on the inside of your breech plug, if that gets clogged right there, this is the only thing that's going to stab through there to clear that out. But you want to be able to see daylight through your hole, which I can see it through mine, so it's fine. But I have this in my little kit just in case. Um... I do have targets. I'm fixing to take this target out and set it up. What this is, this is um, just a yard sign from Lowe's Home Depot. They sell these little stands and this little sign. I think collectively together it was only like $11. And I'll be able to shoot this thing a million times. I've already sighted my 270 in on this target and it patched it. And you can see it puts little bitty holes in there. So I've covered it up with the colored dots. I'm fixing to go set it up to sight this in. And then I've got more targets over here uh, to swap out when I change distances. Uh, and once I get a little bit closer to being dialed in, I have extra targets. Um, this was my powder from last year. I am not going to shoot this anymore. Uh, I just brought it out here while I had the rest of my stuff, so I'll remember to throw it out. Most of the time, if you have one of these old power decks or triple seven boxes, it, it's gonna get a little moisture in there between last hunting season and this hunting season. I never trust them from one season to the next. I always buy new powder. And the one thing that I liked about this White Hots before I ever even opened it, you can see it in the packages. They come individually, individual tubes in here. There's a whole bunch of these tubes. And so this is two Magnum loads in one tube. So at any given time, I'm only exposing two shots worth to the air which is what gives it its moisture which will cause it to misfire so um 
I'm going to go over here and set this target up. I'm going to be at exactly 100 yards. I'm going to go inside and get my rangefinder and make sure that I am. I'm going to set my GoPro up on the target so you can kind of see where I'm hitting as I'm doing it. I'm going to sight my gun in at 100. I say sight in because it was sighted in last year. It should be sighted in now. It's just when you change bullets and you change how much heat's behind that bullet, it's going to change it a little bit. I'm probably going to have to make some fine-tuned adjustments, but I don't anticipate it being bad off. But once I'm sighted in right here at 100 and I know I'm good, I'm going to get on my floating dock and I'm going to back up and try to get 200 yards out of shooting over here to the dam. Um, but let me get the target set up and we'll get to shooting. Let's see how we can do. All right, so I've got my target. I'm shooting from way over there. It looks further than it is. It's only 100 yards to here, give or take. So... These yard signs are great because you literally just put it up here, put your foot down in it, and you got a target. Well, it probably doesn't need to be crooked, but so stand it up straight, Greg. How about that? But you just push it in like that, and there you go. Now I'm going to set you guys up off to the side a little bit. Your son's kind of got you messed up. I'll set you up over here where you can watch without getting, I don't want my camera getting shot. All right, let's see how we do. All right, I've got the gun scrubbed down and I've got my breech plug cleaned up. And before I put it in, I'm gonna put this anti-seize breech plug grease on here. And you wanna make sure that you're only putting this on the threads. Like, you don't want to get it up here. It will mess your powder up. But, if you think it's smart to skip this step, don't. Because, once you fire this thing a few times and you run this gunpowder through it, it makes all this stuff stick. And this breech plug will get stuck in there. And you can't get it out. Putting this on there makes it... It's supposed to go in finger tight. But, if as anybody knows that shoots these a lot if you don't keep enough grease on there it will eventually get so snug that you can't get it off if you don't take it off routinely and clean it and put it back and so even siding in i may take this thing off a few times um, i'm not going to do it every shot obviously but every few shots i may take it off and scrub it down all right let's load her up I've got 150 grains of the white hots in there. I'm going to push my power belt down in there. Let's put my 209 primer. Let's see how she does. I do like siding in with a lead slate because it takes the guesswork out of whether or not it was you. So my up and down is not very far off. It's just, it's, it's short a little bit, but it's way left. So, the first thing I always do when I switch bullets is I shoot twice before I make an adjustment to make sure that it wasn't me or that it wasn't the ammunition just being inconsistent. But before I shoot again, I'm going to run a bristle brush down through here. And this is the first time I've used this brand. This is that uh, Thundercloud brand bristle brush, and it does not... I mean, it's getting it, but it's, it's not very... Um, it, 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 it's almost a little too small for a 50 cal. But I'm going to run that brush down it. I'm going to run this cotton one they gave me down it. In between each shot. Just so that I'm starting with a clean barrel. That's kind of critical when you're shooting muzzleloaders if you're not used to these things. All 
right. Now these bullets should be fairly close to each other. If not, I may have a problem because not every gun shoots every bullet good. So hopefully this will be fairly close to that other one. It's not real close, but it's not real far either. It's, it's about the same left, but it went a lot lower. So I'm gonna correct my right and I'm gonna correct a little bit up and then shoot again and see where we're at. All right, I went two inches to the right. And I went an inch and a half up. Now I'm gonna clean my barrel again, do it again. close the distance in half so I'm gonna do that again well actually let me see yep I'm gonna go to the right one more inch I'm gonna go an inch and a half And then I'm gonna go up another inch and a half. All right, now I'm gonna clean my gun again and reload it. And we'll see where we're at. I wanna be dead on at 100 and I wanna know where my bullet is hitting at 200. That's my plan. I want it dead on at 100 because most likely my shots are going to be between 0 and 100. All right, this should close the distance a little bit, I would think. came up a little bit but I still stayed a little left so I'm not sure if that's not me what's my elevation on that my elevation is actually spot on I don't think I want to adjust my elevation I may go to the right another inch which may end up being too much that might have just been that couldn't have been me pulling but it could just be the inconsistency in the ammo all right i'm assuming i should be on point this time I'm touching orange and I'm a little I'm a hair to the right and a hair low but with a muzzle loader I'm cool with that at a hundred um, but I am gonna take it up just a hair all right I'm gonna call that good at a hundred now I'm gonna move the target to 200 and let's see where we hit because I have no clue all right, so that's actually not from today. That was from that sticker falling off. I'm assuming you guys caught that. I didn't see it from my angle, but this being the last shot, this one was the one before, and so my height elevation is probably fine. That's just probably the inconsistency of the ammo or inconsistency of the shooter, which is me. All right, guys, I am set up for round two. I'm going to back up to 200. I put these extra targets on there just because they're the reactive targets that'll show your shot from a distance. And if my bullet hits anywhere out in here, I want to be able to see it without having to come up here close. So I'm just going to set the camera up. I'll be aiming for this orange dot here. I'm anticipating hitting in here somewhere, but at 200 yards with a muzzleloader, I don't know. We'll see. But I need to know what it's doing so when I get out there, I can predict it.
So, let me figure out which way is best going to be for the sun on you guys. All right. Well, I am set up as far back in my cove as I can get. And it is 182 yards exactly to the target. I wanted to get a little bit further, but my barrels have run aground, which is what I need to make this thing stationary back here in the water. I'm not going back any further. So, I'm going to clean my gun up and get ready for a couple of more shots. My left and right is good, but I am way low. So, I'm gonna clean this again, shoot again, and make sure that it's the same spot. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time without changing anything. I don't wanna change anything. I just wanna know where it's hitting. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good group for 182 yards of the muzzle loader. It looks like I'm shooting about a foot low or more. Alright guys, well this is going to wrap up today's video. This was 182 yards and one round was 12 inches low and one round was 14 inches low. So I lost just over a foot in elevation from 100 yards to 182 yards uh, so i would imagine i'd probably lose you know another couple of inches i'd probably be right here if i was shooting at 200 so you know you can imagine if you're shooting 200 yards with this load you're going to have to aim you know 16 inches higher on the deer um, anyways, I know what my gun's doing at that distance anyway, so at least I can make an educated guess of how high I need to aim. That's kind of the reason why I put these on here is because I didn't know where it was going to hit. And this is a muzzle loader, not like a regular traditional rifle. So my left and right, I feel was pretty solid. I'm obviously, you know, an inch and a half or so to the right fairly consistently, but vertically... I am significantly lower. Anyways, that's it, guys. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the tree next weekend. Y'all have a good one.